Welcome to these morning devotions uh, that are coming to you from Doncaster Circuit. And I'm glad that you are able to join with us uh, as we meditate around the Word of God. I am reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 10, and I'll read from verses 7 through 17. The heading is Jesus the Good Shepherd. So Jesus said again, I am telling you the truth. I am the gate for the sheep. All others who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Those who come in by me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only in order to kill, to steal, and to destroy. I have come in order that you might have life and life in all its fullness. I am the good shepherd who is willing to die for the sheep. When the hired man who is not a shepherd and does not care about the sheep sees the wolf coming, he runs away and leaves the sheep. So the wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. The hired man runs away because he is only a hired man and does not care about the sheep. I am the good shepherd. As the Father knows me, I know the Father. In the same way, I know my sheep and they know me. I am willing to die for them. There are other sheep which belong to me that are not in this sheep pen. I must bring them too. They will listen to my voice and they will become one flock with the one shepherd. Most of the churches this Sunday will have this lesson about Jesus the Good Shepherd. Some people jokingly like to call it the Sheep Sunday, the Sheep Sunday, because the readings revolve around the sheep and the hymns are chosen uh, quite often, uh, which again talk about God or Jesus being the good shepherd. Uh, some of the popular hymns are like, The Lord is my shepherd, uh, I shall not want, or The King of Love, my shepherd is. All the imageries about uh, God being our shepherd. This lesson becomes quite clear when we look at it with the hindsight. Hindsight in the sense that we have now come from Good Friday and uh, the Resurrection Sunday, which is Easter. And so when we hear Jesus saying he's a good shepherd, the one who is willing to die for the sheep, with the hindsight we know, yes, that's true, because actually Jesus dies uh, of uh, Good Friday and rises again. So when he, again he says that he's, he will rise again, when he says, I'm, I will die for the sheep, but I'll take, I'm, I'm willing, I'll get my life back. I have the power to get my life back. We can understand what he is talking about. Most of us have pets, um, in our houses, animal pets, dogs, cats, that kind of thing. And we know that a very close relationship develops between the owner of the pet and the pet. The dog, for example, can be a real close friend to human beings or a cat. How many times when you come through your driveway, your dog goes out to meet you, or your cat goes, goes out to meet you. Because they know the voice, the, 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 the sound, sound of the engine of your car. 
And also, how many of our pets have personal names? You know, and uh, it will not respond to another name other than the one that you have been calling it. A very close relationship can develop between our own pets and us. In the same way, Jesus says that he knows us and uh, we know him. He is a good shepherd. The good shepherd uh, who knows the, the sheep and the sheep know him. The sheep knows his voice and they will respond to him. But the sheep will not respond to uh, others who are not the, 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 the owner of the sheep. For example, he has the imagery of those who come not through the gate, but uh, through some other door. And these ones, he calls them bandits, he calls them thieves, he calls them robbers. And he says the sheep will run away from them. The second group of people that the sheep will run away from are those who are hired and those who work for pay. He says if when they see a wolf coming, they will run away and leave the sheep to the mercy of the wolf. Why? Again, because they are hirelings. They, they care for their money, not for the sheep. This, this important imagery reminds us that God has loved us with an everlasting love. It does not matter the circumstances. It doesn't matter the situation. God goes out of the way for us. Especially this time of uh, corona pandemic, we need to be reminded yet again that we have somebody, we have one who has loved us. The Bible says that God sticks closer than a brother. God sticks closer than a brother uh, or a sister for that matter. You see, we say blood is thicker than water. But I think God, God the Spirit, the Spirit is thicker than water. When I was in uh, high school, we used to say that uh, the spirit is powerful. The spirit is powerful. In fact, my teacher, because she used to contrast the spirit and the law, she would say the law is right, but the law is not might. The spirit is both right and might. God sticks very close. Uh, in the book of Matthew, we are told to come to God, the Bible says, Come, you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God will give us rest. And he says, Take my yoke, because my yoke is light, and my burden is, uh, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This day today, uh, will you hear those ones? that God invites us to live a easy life with him. Uh, John 10.10, 10, the one we read, it says that God came to give us life and give this life in its abundance. Let's come to God. Uh, let's cast to God our burdens. Let's roll to him everything because he cares for us. He is a good shepherd. The bad shepherds don't care for the sheep. He was contrasting himself with the religious leaders. And he says, I am the good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you and the Lord be gracious to you today. Uh, go out in the peace and the love and the power of the Spirit. Let us pray together. Lord, we thank you for reminding us that you are the good shepherd, the one who is willing to lay your life down for the sheep. We thank you for that assurance that we have one who loves us. It does not matter the circumstances. 
Lord, you are our hiding place. You are the one we can run to and we are safe. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, have a nice day and God bless you. Amen.